Should I introduce myself? <laughs> just it doesn't matter who I am. We're just here for ice cream, really. Hi everyone, I'm Ali Slagle. I'm a recipe developer and we are having an ice cream party today with two extremely easy ice cream cakes. They couldn't possibly be easier to make. They couldn't possibly be more enjoyable to eat and they are endlessly adaptable for whatever sort of store-bought ingredients you want to add to them. I developed these ice cream cakes. I was just asked to come up with like an ice cream cake that uses store-bought ingredients and I took that really seriously. I didn't even want to make whipped cream. I didn't want to make a crust. I think the joy of this sort of format is like you take store-bought things, you bring them together, and they're just so good and so happy together. Also, I developed these in the summer when it was really hot, so I would make it at like six o'clock in the morning and eat it for breakfast. But that's one of the great things about being a grown-up is you can have ice cream for breakfast when you feel like it. I have a really bad habit of breaking ice cream scoops. I always break them because I don't wait long enough for the ice cream to thaw and I like really go through it and it and the like little swirly part breaks. So I use a spoon to scoop ice cream and I thought what would happen if you just like put a lot of scoops of ice cream in a pan and smushed it together? Like would you get a swirl effect? And you do get a swirl effect. This cake is made in a springform pan just to make it easier to unmold. One cool thing that I learned from my friend Sam Sanavaratne, who's also a New York Times contributor, is when you get a springform pan, it has this little lip, which makes it really hard to slide a cake off. But if you flip it, the lip is underneath and it's elevated, so you can really easily take a cake off. So we're just gonna layer cookies in. A lot of ice cream cakes use kind of a crust made with like crushed cookies and butter. And when I tested that, it wasn't quite as like immediately crispy as I wanted. It made like a nice buttery layer, but I kind of just wanted like the immediate big crunch of a cookie. In the recipe, I tell you that you have to soften the ice cream for like, I think maybe 15 to 20 minutes, but I never wait that long and it still works and it's fine. But the consistency you really want for this ice cream is something kind of like a, a cake batter so that it's spoonable, but also kind of swoopable. And that helps just like smush everything together. Okay, I'm going. That was not 15 minutes. <laughs> this cake is basically a layer of cookies with spoons and spoons of ice cream smushed together. Once you get a first layer, you wanna smush it into the cookies so it's sealed and then just keep going. I was trying to think what the youngest age I could make this, six? Someone's 12 year old daughter made it with their friend for their joint birthday party. And I just love the idea of a kid taking a recipe that they can completely make all on their own. You can tell that it's getting warm around the edges, but that's why we're gonna freeze it. So you wanna cover it with plastic wrap and freeze it until it's firm. The next ice cream cake is a mint chip ice cream cake. Does it really use this much ice cream? It must. The secret special cool thing is that one of the layers uses ice cream sandwiches, which is delicious, but also kind of smart because you get two layers of cake and you get a layer of vanilla. And all you had to do was unwrap a bunch of ice cream cakes or ice cream sandwiches. This is a really big cake. It could serve 30, 15, I don't know. So, I line it with plastic wrap so that I can kind of lift the whole cake out and put it on a board or a platter. You want to have a little overhang of plastic. I developed it with Thin Mints, but I wanted to eat Oreos today. So we're going to do Oreos. I'm going to practice patience and let them warm a little bit. Okay, so... This is a good texture. This is what we want. This is nice and swoopy, but not drippy. You know, people who like throw dinner together, they're like, what, me? Like, I just threw this together. You can be one of those people with these ice cream cakes because you can truly just throw the ice cream in the pan. So once you have one 
layer of scoops. You just want to press them down so they're stuck to the cookies and then just keep going until you use half of your ice cream. I think this fulfills like all the urges of like playing with clay, play-doh, but it's ice cream. I'm going to put this in the freezer just to kind of firm a little bit while I unwrap some ice cream sandwiches. The hardest part of the recipe is that you have to unwrap many, many ice cream sandwiches. Wow, this is exactly two boxes of ice cream sandwiches. Amazed that I did that properly. And now we put more ice cream, because what else would we do, really? Whoa, ice cream. And I'm going to cover this and then freeze it until it's firm. This is a cream school cake that we made yesterday. And the first step to unmolding it is running a warm towel around the outside. Wow. I mean, I really just wowed myself. Like I have made this cake for years and every time you unmold it, it's just like incredible that that great of a pattern came from a bunch of messy scoops that you smushed in a pan. I mean, <laughs> just another day in the office. So I think two natural toppings for this would be either magic shell or hot fudge. So I made another ice cream cake just because I wanted to. This is the same method as the creamsicle cake using crisp coconut cookies and then raspberry sorbet and mango sorbet. I mean, I don't have to convince you to make that. You just look at it and you're like, I'm gonna make that. I promised you an ice cream party of one and here we are. I'm truly overwhelmed by <laughs> all of these cakes. I think it's amazing how many textures you get in that cake. It's just so delightful. The thing about the whole cookies is sometimes you might get a little hole without one, but you just have to keep eating, you know? All of these cakes to me feel like being a kid on summer break, like not a worry in the world. That one's like Hawaii. I hope that I've convinced you that anyone can make this, these cakes with anything that you want. And I hope if you never even make these flavors that you find one that you love.